Today it is, well, it's always me, Tom from Tab Nation. And today we're going to be doing something that I thought was pretty cool, and that's just changing the color of your taskbar. So I could see this being used in a few ways. Maybe you want to... The way I saw it being used a lot is people who are typing in multiple languages. Sometimes they forget which language they're supposed to be typing in, and they'll accidentally kind of write gibberish all over the keyboard or whatever editor they're using. So changing the taskbar could be used as a way to kind of quickly look down and be like, oh, it's green, I'm typing in English. Uh, the way I want to use it personally is as a notification system. I'll explain that a little bit better once we kind of take a dive into the code right now. So it's very simple. There's not a lot going on here. The first line we are going to be doing here is include taskbar set attribute.ah key. So this is a library. I'll put a link in the description below on how to get that or just paste spin. Uh, depending on what I feel like doing, but let's take a look at that real quick. So I'll just open that. So I'm not going to really go through this. You know, it's uh, 128 lines. The only thing I would point out here is where did I put that? Do, do, do. Uh, oh, I think I left a note here. Um, so yeah, delete lines 48 through 55. If you want to keep it all in one script, then you don't have to. You would just manipulate line 48 through 55. But I took that chunk out and put it into its own AHK file just for make this video a little bit simpler to visually see, I guess you could say. Uh, but yeah, I'll put a link in the description below with this, along with this note up here. But if you're just going to keep it in one script, then just throw this into your thing and edit those lines instead. All right, where was that script? I got way too many scripts open here. Here we go. So I'm going to be using hotkeys here. F1, taskbar, set attribute. So that's calling up here. And we're just going to, basically, this is the color that we want. And as you see, we just have it saying set to light blue. We're then going to do F2, which is all the exact same thing, except for the code here is a little bit different, which I'll show you in a second how to get this an easy way set light green and then always make sure you put that return there or it will automatically start jumping down and then f3 is going to be just basically what you got up here but without that number and we're going to set it to zero that's going to set it to the standard v value sorry and then let's go ahead and look at that before i talk about how to get these colors but yeah let's run that there we go all right, so you can see I got just my taskbar down here. You can see part of it at least. So it's uh, whatever color, eggshell color, I guess you want to call it. We're going to go ahead and push F1. Boom. F2. Boom. And then F3. And that basically just kind of makes it go all black. <laughs> um, but yeah, I kind of like the light blue. I might leave it like that. The way I see this being used that I think would be really cool, I'll probably expand and do another video later, but maybe I get a notification on my YouTube channel, you know, someone made a comment or whatever, someone has a new video, it will automatically detect that through some sort of web scraping, uh, depending if I use comms, or I'm just looking at the window title to see if it has, you know, in the parentheses, the number one or two for however many comments I got. It'll detect that and then it would basically instead of me having a hotkey it would trigger a quick little like loop maybe like a loop of five or something where it would look like this basically so i'm just going to be mimicking it a loop i'm just pushing f1 f2 so i get a notification on youtube script detects it my little bar down there goes like this you know i could do it fast slow but it gets my attention really easily no matter pretty much what program i'm in unless i'm gaming and then maybe just loops for a few seconds and then stops and be like, oh, I got a notification somewhere. That's really where I think it would be kind of cool to use. And uh, I'll probably do a video and do a showcase with that. So the easiest way really to get this kind of information for yourself is to actually kind of, if you want, go onto Google and just Google, uh, what is it called? A color wheel. I mean, this is one way to do it. Here's, here's a pretty simple one right here. Oh, apparently you can buy this on eBay for some reason. All right. And as you see here, I got F9. Mouse get position. 
mouse X and Y. So it's seeing, you know, where's my mouse pointing on my screen. And then it's going to get the pixel color at those coordinates, save it as the variable color. It's so then going to put it into my clipboard just so I can paste it into Notepad++ or whatever ID you're using. And then I'm just going to also have a display message box just so with this video we can see it. You honestly, once it's in the clipboard, you do not need this line of code. So you can just delete that if you want, honestly. So I'm going to go to here and let's say I want the color orange, this shade. I'm going to push, I'm going to hover over top of it, push F9. And there we go. The color at the cursor is, you know, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, you don't have to use a color wheel. If you like this color on this button right here, you can just push F9 there. There's that color, uh, hex color, hex decal color, whatever. Um, so, yeah. So, a pretty short video, but, you know, I could see a lot of potential. If you have any other ideas besides what I said of just kind of remembering what mode you're in or that you got a notification and have it blink, let me know. I'm kind of curious what other things this could potentially be used with, you know, in the comments below. And if you haven't, subscribe. Always throwing two to three videos out every week. It helps me a lot. And just, you know, what other videos you guys like to see, it helps me with that too. All right, everybody, I will see you soon. And don't forget to check out the Auto Hotkey Convention coming this summer. As of recording this video, we do not have a solid date right now. We're kind of gathering a bunch of info, getting all our panel guests, all that. I do have a video where Joe Glines, if you know him, and I talk about kind of our intro to what the Auto Hockey Convention is, our hopes, our dreams, what we think you guys would expect. Definitely check that out. Let us know a little bit more. See you guys next one.